This is getting interesting as S23 Ultra will be a great phone and will come with a lot of updates that people missed. And yes, both iPhone 14 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra have their pros, but if you need the best one then stick till the end. Before moving on, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's been a couple of months since the launch of iPhone 14 Pro Max and S23 Ultra is around the corner so this is the right time to talk about whether you should go with the iPhone 14 Pro Max or S23 Ultra. Spoiler alert, S23 Ultra has a lot to offer and you may end up buying it. This year, 2023, even the last year, 2022, iPhone 14 Pro Max has the brightest display over other phones. Even S22 Ultra was behind the iPhone 14 Pro Max, whereas iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with 2000 nits peak brightness. And as per S22 Ultra, we are going to get 1750 nits peak brightness, exact same as last year S22 Ultra. Although S22 Ultra comes with more pixel per inch than the iPhone 14 Pro Max and also a high resolution display, S22 Ultra comes with 6.8 inches display and iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with 6.7 inches display, both comes with a 120Hz refresh rate. Now here's the thing, if you use your phone outside an iPhone 14 Pro Max and if you need more pixel than S23 Ultra, remember, don't underestimate 1750 nits on S23 Ultra as Samsung accounts for 80% display supply chain for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so you get the point. Let me know in the comments, which one would you prefer, iPhone 14 Pro Max or Galaxy S23 Ultra? Barry is something everyone worried about as S22 Ultra is not a better phone if we compare with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But here's a catch, S23 Ultra is also coming with the same 5000 mAh battery and iPhone 14 Pro Max is at 4323 mAh battery. The things we should notice from iPhone 13 Pro Max and even iPhone 14 Pro Max, the A15 and A16 Bionic chips are our much more power efficient chipsets compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But here's a solution, S23 Ultra is coming with 40% power efficient CPU and 45% power efficient GPU. So we will see a good competition between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra. Well, in my opinion, yes, these numbers will affect the battery backup on the S23 Ultra, but don't expect too much, as iPhone 14 Pro Max lost much longer than the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the gap may not be filled with the power efficiency. Performance is something Android always lack, but thanks to Snapdragon Engine 2, we are so close to A16 Bionic chipset. Yes, in benchmarks, we are so close to A16 that is used in the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so if you are worried about performance, see, this time you will not feel a big difference between either of these devices, except if you use a lot of apps as S23 Ultra comes with 8GB of RAM and 12GB of RAM and iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with only 6GB of RAM. And just because of this 6 gigs of RAM, iPhone 14 Pro Max even defeated by the Galaxy Fold 4. A good thing that Galaxy S20 Ultra was going to come with 256 gigs version as a base model and iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with 128 gigs as a base model and both phones goes up to 1 TB version. Cameras are where S20 Ultra will shine and could become the best camera phone of this year, as Samsung is about to launch 200 megapixel main shooter which will outclass all other cameras. But here's the thing, Apple also make a big jump on the iPhone 14 Pro Max coming from 12 megapixel to 48 megapixel, so this is a tough call. Optimization is what matters and Apple done a great job on iPhone 14 Pro Max. iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with 48 megapixel main shooter, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel telephoto with 3 X zoom, whereas S23 Ultra was going to come with 200 megapixel main shooter, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 210 megapixel telewoto with 3x zoom and 10x zoom. So if you're looking to take some super close up shots with 100x zoom, then S23 Ultra would be your choice. But iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with some good features like Pro Raw and cinematic mode to record 2.8K portrait video also comes with new photonic engine for low light imaging. And Samsung is doing the same thing with the S23 Ultra but will give extra feature of 8K video recording at 30 fps and night photography will have no match. Both phones comes with exclusive features like satellite connectivity and you guys will be surprised as S20 Ultra is also getting this feature. S20 Ultra just come with the S Pen as iPhone 14 Pro Max don't offer such thing. If you guys want to see how S22 Ultra performs against the iPhone 14 Pro Max then make sure to watch this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.